Hello, my comic book lovers and sons of bitches and wonder women that might be watching. Welcome to the 15th comic book haul of 2019. This would be for April week 2. I was going to combine this with uh, the third week, which would be the 16th haul, uh, in the same video. Uh, but I haven't gotten those comics yet, we're going to get those soon. But I was going. I was going to go take pictures of these and then do the video and I thought, you know what? These are two pretty this is a pretty big fat stack. Uh I think that it would be much better for me to do it in one video rather than keep you guys here for a little too long uh <laughs> with a single video. So um let's go ahead and just get started. It's not like this longer than it has to be. Big shout out to Undercity Comics in Whittier, California. Which, by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, I think you should. Well, you should at least click on my link and check out my latest post. We got... We were practically given this beautiful statue uh, a uh, it's a DC collectible statue, limited edition. It is the Trinity statue. It's inspired by uh, Trinity number one, and it's 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 gorgeous. It's Superman, kind of hovering over Batman and Wonder Woman. It is. I, I I'm gonna call it. It is the best collectible we have in our house. I will do a video on it, but. I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> we have it displayed, and it's like, I play to it every day. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go check it out. It's it's gorgeous, and we got the best deal you could ever imagine, thanks to Susan at uh, Undercity Comics. So, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. This is my sister's stack. She had a pretty good week. We have number 6 out of 12, Dead Man Logan. Pretty nice. We're going to go through this fast because we got a lot to show you. We have number 68 of The Flash. The last trick. What does he mean by that? And we did get a pretty cool, psychedelic, groovy variant. I kind of like that. That's, that's actually kind of cool. To tell you the truth, some of these covers I'm seeing for the first time. When my sister... Okay, so, they... <laughs> we, go to, we go to the comic store, right? And they give us the, uh, our fat stack. And my sister starts dividing them before I can even look at them. She just kind of passes what's mine and what's hers. So I, I, I sometimes don't even get to see what she has. <sighs> anyway. Number 8 of Justice League Odyssey. And, uh, yeah, okay, a pretty decent variant. I probably would have passed on that. My sister believes in getting every variant. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. That's awesome. Uh, we have number 29 of Supergirl. The A cover is groovy. Like, holy shit. That's just a, that's, that's stunning. But then we have a very cute variant, so... Both are very nice. Oh, uh, that's really cool. I remember seeing this. Uh, we had number 10 of Superman. A cover is cool. The B cover, super cool. I like that. It almost looks, I don't know why, but it almost resembles the, uh, the is it Flesher? Flesher cartoons? The cartoons of the, uh, the, the 40s? Oh my god, those cartoons are amazing. Like, the animation just looks so advanced. I, I, I can just, oh my god. Okay, I remember seeing this one too, but I'll, I'll show you the A. Oh, oh here, here it is. Okay, let's cut the A. 68 of Wonder Woman. And uh, the variant. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is just stunning, dude. 
Alright, so we have number 11 of X23. So it's kind of concerned. <laughs> and then we have a whole bunch of Robin Hood Outlaw is their test. It's very confusing because we have Red Hood Outlaw and Robin Hood Outlaw. It's driving me crazy. But here's issue number three of Robin Hood Outlaw the Test from Zenith Holt. So we have this cover right here. Damn, I got that cover right there. Looking extra busty. It's funny how some artists make her breast bigger. Uh, it's like, I don't think that's how it works with a single woman's chest. Well, I mean, it depends on what kind of bra she's wearing. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool. Like her, you know, like with the city behind her. It's kind of cool. And that's pretty dope as well. So, very cool covers from Xenoscope. These artists are dope, and I, I, I still have not read a single Xenoscope comic, but I swear I can, I can tell they're all severely underrated. They gotta be good, man. I mean, otherwise my sister, I, I, I don't know why she would get them. Alright, so we got that one there. Now, oh, wow. not cool. God damn it. It's all part of the show. You know how when you uh, you have a stack of comics and you have them neatly placed and they tip over and they all just slide all over the place? Sheesh. Uh, my stack is a little heavier. This is why I wanted to do this in a single video. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I think it has to do with variants. No, not even. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Alright, so we have uh, number three, issue three, part three of four for Hollywood. This is Hit Girl. Now, they shortchanged Susan uh, on covers. This is the only cover that she got. So she's going to try to get me some other covers. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of the, the black and white covers. I just would rather have color, I'm sorry. But uh, if that's all I can get, so be it. We have number 19 with uh, Hunted Part 3 for The Amazing Spider-Man. We have number 9 of Avengers No Load Home. There's No Load Home, right? Yeah, okay. No Load Home. This is cute. It's pretty, pretty much girls night out. I don't know why she's not picking up. Ha! That's funny. Batman's trying to call, call his lady. And oh well. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> I like this cover. This is really funny. Now that I'm looking at it more thoroughly, number sixty-eight of Batman. Pretty much a girls night out. Batman's like. Bay, why aren't you calling him? Why aren't you picking up? And then we have an incredibly dope variant. Uh, I really can't wait to read this, but I need... I need to read metal. Jesus, I need to read... I have the metal arc and all the tie-ins in a box, and they're not even in order. They're just kind of thrown in there. <coughs> I need to sort that shit out, and I need to read it, for fudge sake. Number four of the Batman Who Laughs. And there he is right there. God, these covers are so creepy, I swear. Then we have number ten of Catwoman. Hey, man. Get your, yeah, hands off the merchandise. Exactly. That's You don't, you don't want to mess with Catwoman, man. All right, and then pretty dope variant. <coughs> Uh, so, I'm not, I mean, after a thousand, well, you know, after hitting issue number a thousand, you could, you can kind of appreciate the fact that Detective Comics was going to, um, damn it, uh, 
do it again. Look how I mentioned that, uh, the, the, what the fuck? All the comments are falling? Really? This is a disaster. This is a bad session right now. Look how I was saying that, um, if I don't, uh, I've got comments on my other keyboard. Holy crap, what is happening? Behind the scenes, behind the scenes drama. Uh, yeah, my, my picture will, like, not my picture, but my screen will, like, go to sleep if I don't keep the mouse active. That's what happens. And, uh, so if you notice a slight pause, it's just, it's a technical glitch. But anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, you kind of can appreciate the fact that they wanted to change the logo for Detective Comics. I'm not mad at the new logo, but I'm not really thrilled with it either. It looks a little backwards, but, I mean, okay, whatever. The important thing is the comic, right? So we have number 1001 of Batman Detective Comics. I don't know, let me know what you think about the new logo. Um, I just, it looks, it looks a little retro, which is cool, but um, I don't know how. I'll get used to it, obviously. Uh, and then we have a variant, which is pretty cool. Stay! The comics, they, keep, they have a line of their own. We have number six of X-Force. This should actually be in my sister's pile. Oh my god. What is happening? I'm dropping shit. Comics are falling. And, oh my god. Somebody doesn't want me to get through this video. Oh my goodness. Alright, then we have number 33. Jesus. Of uh, Robin Hood Outlaw. Robin Hood. See? See? <coughs> the confusion. Red Hood Outlaw. And probably one of the dopest variants of the week. Number 49 of Spider Man Deadpool. we got a couple of Star Wars one-shots. We have Star Wars Age of Rebellion. Princess Leia. Hmm. Great illustration of her. And then we have Grand... What the hell? Grand Moth Tarkin. I was just called him Tarkin. But yeah, we have Tarkin with his own comic. Oh dear. Uh, next we had number 30s. Hey, that's kind of cool, though, yeah. I probably would have passed on it, but I don't know why. I just, I picked it anyway. Number 36 of Titans. Actually, really like cover A. Pretty cool. The variant, it's actually pretty dope. No, no, I'm, I'm happy I got it. Then we have, um, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, even though it kind of looks a little scary in this cover. I don't know if I, I would call him friendly. Uh, we have Web of Venom Cult. There is. Can y'all see that shit? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Gravity. Web of Venom Cult of Carnage. That is just. That's, that's freaking scary. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I got it. I just, it was there. They, they pulled it for me. So, uh, so I kind of thought, okay, you know, fine, I'll take it. It's, it's, it was meant to be. <laughs> and finally, uh, a tie-in, um, to War of the Realms, we have Journey into the Mystery. Now, I swear I don't want to get all caught up with the War of the Realms tie-ins, uh, I know a lot of the tie-ins will be for comics that I already collect, so, you know, that's fine. I don't know why I got this, uh, but you know what, it's got a great cover. So hopefully this is a good um, companion piece. I'll check it out eventually, Jesus. I was just thinking about how I, I never read, what the hell was it called? 
Oh god, Axis. A-X-I-S. I never read that storyline. I have it like, right there. Kind of buried underneath a bunch of stuff. I, I don't know how I'm, I'm ever going to read these comics. Anyway, that's going to do it for all my comics, the ones that are still standing. Um, if, you have made it to, if you have made it to this point of the video, you're, you're wonderful. Uh, I thank you because, holy crap, this video was weird. Uh... Pretty much all my videos are weird. But anyway, you might as well just give me that like, because that would really be cool. I like seeing likes on my videos. It makes me happy. Um, also, again, please follow my social media. You will see a gorgeous picture of, well, I should say a great picture of the gorgeous statue that my sister and I got last week of the Trinity. It is amazing. That is on Instagram. Uh, and, and... You know, Twitter, I'm very active, so check me out there. And most definitely follow me on Twitch, where I stream every Monday through Thursday and sometimes during the weekend. That's a lot to say, you know that? Sheesh. Anyway, never let anybody tell you to roll to collect comic books, because if they do, they are just gonna be old. They're gonna grow to be old and grown and gonna tip over like every comic book you saw fall in this video. <sighs> Alright guys, have a good one. Oh my god, one more week for Jesus, one more week for Avengers Endgame. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready, you know? I'm scared. <laughs> I've been watching all the MCU movies, so I'm kind of getting ready, but at the same time, it's like, I can't believe this is happening. And the end of Gotham. Gotham is having a serious finale. That's... It's, a very, it's going to be a very emotional week um, next week. So, all right, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.